What's up YouTube and welcome back to the Anabolic Outpost. At some point in everybody's life, they have have experienced the incredible bar food that is buffalo chicken dip. And I can't say I've met a person that doesn't enjoy buffalo chicken dip. And unfortunately, most of the recipes that are being used at these restaurants and bars contain many fatty fillers, likely full fat cheese and cream cheese, and whatever ranch sauce they're getting sent into them, which is likely very high in calories in itself, but luckily for us, they make low calorie versions of all of the items I just mentioned. And that's exactly what this recipe is based off of, with a few minor tweaks here and there to up the protein content. You aren't really substituting that many ingredients at all, just using lower fat versions of them. Of course, this makes the recipe much higher in protein, while also being lower in calories compared to most of the recipes that you may get at a restaurant or bar. It's overall pretty simple to make as well, and I'll just go ahead and take a quick moment to mention all the ingredients that you will need. The first ingredient here is a boiled chicken breast. I'll cover how to do it in just a second if you don't know, but it's just the simplest way to cook chicken breast, and it's not like you needed any added flavor from the chicken anyway. For the buffalo sauce, we will be using Frank's brand wing buffalo sauce. Not only is it the best flavor, but it's also zero calories. Fat-free cream cheese. Fat-free mozzarella cheese. For this recipe, I use both the ranch and the blue cheese sauce from Walden Farms. If you want to use just the ranch or just the blue cheese, that's no problem at all. Fat-free Greek yogurt. And the last ingredient here are Joseph's Lavish Bread Wraps, and we will actually be cutting these into individual chip slices. You can see here that the macros are great on them, and they work just as well as a chip. Before we get to mixing here, I'm going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Really quickly, here's a clip of my chicken breast boiling, and this is a lot more chicken than you're going to need, but I figured I would just cook some extra to have throughout the week. And you'll want to let them boil for 30 to 45 minutes. Just temp them every now and then, and once they hit 165, you are good to go. And I could also just mention this now, that in total for this recipe, you'll need 350 grams of chicken, which is about one whole breast. And this is just a quick glimpse of what they look like once they're done cooking, with that delicious chicken film all over the sides to accompany it. And what you could do here is go ahead and transfer your 350 grams of chicken breast into a mixing bowl. Which is also the reason why we're boiling these chicken breasts as well. It just allows for it to be shredded a lot easier. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. The best strategy for me is to just take two forks and face them away from myself and begin to just shred the chicken breast using the other fork as leverage and it makes the process pretty easy. Also remember that you don't have to do that much of a detailed job on this because we are going to be using an electric mixer to get all the ingredients together and that's going to do some of the shredding for you as well. I went ahead and transferred my shredded chicken into a larger mixing bowl so I have some more room to put this dip together. And the first ingredient that I'm going to begin to add here is that fat free mozzarella cheese adding in a total of 168 grams which is basically the entire bag. This recipe is absolutely loaded up with the protein and it's actually funny to realize that the only fat in this recipe comes from the chicken breast which is very minimal fat at all. I'm going to start to add in my sauces now starting off with that Frank's buffalo sauce. And of course however much you add is going to depend on how spicy you want it to be. I like mine moderately spicy coming in with 120 grams of buffalo sauce. Next is the ranch and the blue cheese dressing. I'm adding 30 grams of ranch and 30 grams of blue cheese dressing. I like to split it right down the middle, but if you only have one or the other, or you only like one or the other, just use 60 grams in total of whatever sauce you choose. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of cream cheese in this recipe, only measuring at 56 grams. And then a heavy scoop of the Greek yogurt, measuring at 85 grams. Now that all the ingredients are added in there, you could go ahead and hit it with the electric mixer, only mixing for about 2-3 to three minutes, it doesn't take long to get all the ingredients mixed. 
Just the main thing to focus on is that the cream cheese breaks up and is spread apart the entire recipe. And also that there are no major chunks of chicken in your chicken shredding. I'm going to use a 12 by 9 pan to bake this in, but really whatever pan that you have that you want to bake in, I'm sure it'll work great. I just have these reusable pans anyway, because I'm going to be taking it cross country. Not necessary, but I like to hit it with some cooking spray to ensure the dips are smooth later on. And you can begin to transfer over your buffalo chicken dip slop into the 12 by 9 pan. Of course this stuff is pretty thick so you're going to have to use that extra effort to get it all out of the mixing bowl and then into the pan where you'll continue to have to use your hard work to spread it all around evenly across the pan. And that's what I'm doing here, just ensuring that it's a smooth layer across the top, all the corners are filled and that it's going to bake evenly when I throw it into the oven. Real quick, here's what it looks like before I throw it into the oven. There is that smooth layer on the surface that I was talking about just now. And you'll want to cook it for 20 to 25 minutes at that 350 degree temperature. If you want while it's baking, you could also set up a cooking sheet with aluminum foil across the top. And you'll need two lavish bread wraps if you're using them for the entire dip. I also like to cut some celery for this as well as it makes pretty good for dipping too. And what you'll want to do to make these chips is just take those two lavish breads and place them on top of each other. Hopefully you have a pizza cutter for this because it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. If you don't, I suppose you could use scissors or get creative with how you want to cut it. But the pizza cutter makes the process pretty simple and I just went ahead and cut it down the middle and continued to cut it down the middle over and over again until I had some decent sized chips. You could even go ahead and cut some diagonals and make some crazy designs on there too. And it kind of takes a little bit of patience and precision here to take all of your chips and evenly spread them across the cooking sheet. It's kind of important so that all of the chips are crispy, but with two lavish bread there is going to be a little bit of overlap as you can see, but that is no big deal at all. Halfway through the process just give it a shake and you should have no problems with crispiness at all. The chips can also go in at 350 degrees, but these will only need 10 to 12 minutes. And the chips and dip are fresh out of the oven now and ready to be eaten. As with anything, it's preferred you be patient and wait for it to cool down, but you could dive right in if you wish. I know it's pretty tempting and the macros are going to make it even more tempting. Because this recipe is going to have 184 grams of protein with 25 grams of carbs, only 15 grams of fat for a total of 950 calories. That's for just the dip here alone. I'm not going to throw in those two lavish breads because there's too many variables there on how many chips you're going to use and you could just calculate that one yourself. Sure, it's unlikely that you're going to eat this entire dip in one sitting, but just looking at the broader perspective there, 184 grams of protein is more than enough protein in an entire day for even most bodybuilders. Bodybuilders that eat 3,000 to 3,500 calories, and for this recipe to be less than 1,000 calories is quite incredible. This recipe is truly a textbook example of an anabolic recipe. So I'll leave that for you to take it upon yourself and make this recipe, because I promise you, you will not regret it, especially if you are a buffalo chicken dip lover like myself. If you did have any questions on how it was made or any of the things I talked about in this video, leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. However, if you did enjoy this video and found this recipe delicious, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.